Today we're making a cocktail with some cold coffee, some rum, some orgeat. We got a little bit of a bitterness and, and, an egg. and a whole egg. And I'm gonna tell you what, at the end of this episode, you will understand why I just said, I think you have a protein stain in your pants. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Terry Chuck. Come with me, Ian Andrews. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to cause problems. He's just gonna stand there. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Today's recipe is the Java Thai. Yeah. Submitted by Antoine Alf, found at cocktaildudes.com and produced by Lance Roulet. Yeah, I go with that. Looks French, so I'm going with the French pronunciation. Cocktail Dudes, those are the guys on YouTube. Yeah. The recipe is two ounces of aged rum. We're using our denizen that we just reviewed recently. Uh, one and a half ounce yet, of though. cool espresso or coffee. I'm guessing it's in here. Yeah. Three quarter ounce of orgeat. We got some BG Reynolds. Four ounce of Averno Amaro and one whole egg. So I don't have to worry about separating the yolk, which is nice. Oh, really? Oh, wow. It's the yolk and everything. That, so it's yeah, a flip. That's whole, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a flip. Yeah. Wow. This is messed. So everybody can see all the options. There awesome you go. Ones. The chat room just enlightened me. If the egg floats, it's bad. What? The egg floats, it's bad. I'll be back. Go float an egg, buddy. Go what is all this here? What is this? Oh, that's that's stuff we don't need. Yeah. So it's in the middle of our camera shop. Yeah. I don't want it in the middle of our camera shop. We don't have any juices. It's going to pour. No juices. So that's awesome, right? Jennifer, this morning, she's like, I'm going to make extra coffee because she knew this cocktail was coming. It is. I made strong coffee. You're so smart. So she made strong coffee. And then I was like, I know there was extra coffee. So, so I, you drank I, extra coffee? I did. Yes. I drank a lot of extra coffee today. I didn't know it was high high test until I started shaking. So it's been a productive day. Well, I only had eight cups. Or so. Dude, uh, if you ever stop, you're going to run headlong into a, the worst headache you've ever had. I don't know. I've had a headache for four days. That's me. I have to have caffeine. Oh. I get a super migraine. <laughs> I've had a headache for four days. That's me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but. <laughs> Honesty. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I have a, some sort of sinus infection or something. I don't know. Uh, so I just I'm just heavily medicated. No, um, I, I I had a big. I usually drink a, like a double cup or a tiki mug worth of coffee in the morning, and that's usually about four cups. But then oh, I wow. I bought it. I got another one. <laughs> it's a he's pouring it strangely. Um, that's bitter. So I had I had like two cups bitter. of uh, but two large cups of coffee. I can take bitter. Yeah. So this is you were talking about how tiki this is. Just trying to get that fruit fly out of here. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, since it has an egg, I'm going to do a dry shake first. Okay. The whole egg. <laughs> even though it doesn't say to do a Did dry just, shake. When you just paused like that, was that because you dropped the shell in there? No, because I plopped. Oh. I love how you just dropped the, this gooey egg all over. There's no egg left in there. It's all in here. Should I put this? Do whatever you want with it. It's your, the fruit fly, dude. It was your egg. I played this. So the dry shake first, it helps to emulsify? emulsify the egg proteins in with the drink. There is the school of thought that you will wet shake and then it's called a reverse dry shake. Yeah. Where you wet shake, then you add the egg in and dry shake without the ice, correct? So you get no, the No, the egg's in there the whole time. Oh, is it? Because I thought I screwed it up last time. So you emulsify it backwards. I'm gonna, I'll make a, I'll make a more yeah, you know video. I gotta figure out. Yeah, you add the egg in, I think you're right. Oh. That is whole eggy. It's still, you got it all over you? I like it. This reminds me of... Because uh, shaking is tough when you don't have any ice in there. You are making a mess. Yeah. It's like it's not in my place or something. <laughs> well, I'll fix this. Don't worry, it's just salmonella. This reminds me of a drink that I dug up at one point for the show. Salmonella? No, no, a coffee. I remember that drink. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it failed because Jen screwed it up for some reason? She deleted it. She deleted it. That's what it was. Off the camera. Remember that video? You deleted it's right like off the camera. It's a colonial flip. No. Yeah. No. Yep. You made. Come on. Well, you, that's convenient that you don't remember. Yeah. We both do. You <laughs> del yeah. I remember because you told me you did it. You're like, I think I deleted that video, and I didn't have a video. And wow. and and normally we have we have like two back we have a backup. That's and smooth, and smooth, smooth love right there. We normally have we have, this camera records on two flash disks. Plus we copied over the the hard drive, and it still died. This needs a. Garnish of bitters or something. It's kind of you can put some rotation. Angostura on the bit. Coffee's gonna get add some bitterness, so you know what we can do. You're gonna draw again. Gonna draw again. There are so many fruit flies. Are you looking for the Angostura? I'm no, looking for. There we go. What are you drawing on? Coffee bitters. Oh, coffee bitters. Good call. Let's see if it floats on top. Yeah, it, it will obviously float on top, right? Because it's. Um, 
it's no, it sinks, but it leaves a stain. What are you making? A snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? I'm just gonna do that. Damn it! You know how are you gonna draw it? Stick arms? Oh, you're just darkening it in? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Now you gotta go put it under that other camera so that they can see. Oh shoot! Now he's got an Eiffel Tower. Turn down the snowflake. That would have been good. What do you got? That's pretty potent uh, coffee beers. Pretty nice to tell, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Or it is in the shape of a Y. Could also be a penis with legs. Or it's a Either greater way. than. Or a less, less than. than. Awesome. <laughs> it kind of looks, look at that. That looks like a drink you get out of a, uh, I don't even, that's got a nice gray to it. It looks it's like a solid gray right through. Almost a little green tint to it, too. Mm. So it looks like milk chocolate. That's delicious. Come on. You're just doing that just to make me throw up. Delicious. Is that delicious? Kind of. <laughs> Did I lie? <laughs> no. All I right. just thought you were doing that just to throw me off. No, it's delicious. Um, it tastes like the smoothest coffee you've ever had. Mm. And it's coffee flavored. Mm. It's like... <laughs> he is in heaven. <laughs> it's like chocolate... It's like a, a coffee chocolate milk. Let's go to the Ian's Banger book. Mm. Um, I don't taste any alcohol. Mm. I just taste coffee. Mm. Is there any alcohol in here? That's so good. Two, dude, there are so many fruit flies. Two and a quarter ounces of alcohol in here. <laughs> this looks like a bomb. Why bother? Oh. Just drink it from the pitcher. So just take it. Girls. That worked well. Yeah. I like I how you said earlier how you're making a mess and you, you had no no reserve. You're just going to keep making a mess and then you did. That's the best part. Get out of here, fruit fly. I say what I do and do what I say. That's why I learned an IL. It's what you got to do with your SOPs, otherwise you're against the law. Breaking the law. You name it. That's them. really good. It doesn't. I mean, maybe there's some Amaro bitterness in there. It's hard to tell because there's black coffee as well. But I don't taste rum. I have hair from somewhere. You sure? Yeah. Uh, it's just mm. a, a, a smooth... That's breakfast. That's coffee and an egg. It's breakfast. Oh, there's an egg in there. Yeah. That's Did probably you, why I, it's I so did. smooth. Did you hear you? What was I doing at the time? That, that's probably why it's so it's so silky. It's just like that mm. the coffee, that nice protein, protein. The, the egg right in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> oh, you said that. I just got a piece of egg in my mouth. <laughs> you know the stuff that doesn't break down. Yeah, yeah. The egg, the the egg shards. <laughs> um, that's okay. When you straighten it, all the, the smoothness comes out of the glass, and it's that's delicious. That's true. Just don't drink it straight out of the cup. Um, Texas said you might want to check Ian's pants for protein stains. Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a protein stain of his own. I'll tell you what. It's really good. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really think any more tasting notes are are needed for what you. Just experienced. It's coffee. It's <laughs> sweet. It's like a hazelnut coffee because you got the orange yeah. in there. It's so a almond flavored coffee. I would actually. This is what I'm going to tell you right now. If you were to make a tiki recipe card with eight, six to eight cocktails on it, this would be the bottom one. This would be like the after dinner. You've you've had a couple tiki drinks. You've already got your syrups because you've been making tiki this stuff. This be for breakfast. <laughs> or this is how you start it yeah. in the morning. Uh, maybe the day after tiki, too much tiki oh, drinking. Are you planning your tiki party? Yeah, like this is start. this is like a dessert for a tiki party, like the either the starter or the finisher for the tiki party, because it's got a little bit of that tiki action, but it's it. I wish you off the drive home. There's also some tiki cocktails bring in a little bit of the coffee nuances or the uh, the rum flavor. I every last That's why I do. I'm just waiting for them to lick all the way around the, the, the shaker tin at this point. The rim. There's nothing on there. He's going to rim it. <laughs> you know what? You should just go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV. If you go there, you can click on the videos and you can watch all the short VSOP versions of these. Plus, I've been launching some of the blooper reels for the 2015 out there. So you Saw can that. just see short blooper reel And get uh, notifications clips. when we go live, when yep. stuff is coming up. Like, Post the pictures. If you're not an Instagram person, you'll find a lot of the Instagram photos out there as well. Lots of goats. Well, I don't know what the thing is. Lots of goats. There's lots of goats out you there. You need goats carrying lemons. Yeah, did that's you, what you need. Uh, did, did you see the goat co-host thing I did? I did. Yeah, yeah there was two goats. Yeah, yeah. And there was a taller goat and a shorter goat. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, right? I like that. Uh, so I, I like to um, keep. Am I the tall goat? Yeah, I think so. No, you're the short one. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> it's it's not it's not actual physical height. It's uh. Girth. Yes. 
No, I was gonna say I don't know either. Heftiness. Surety wouldn't work either, but uh, yeah. Okay. Ego. That doesn't work with me. Go with ego. Go with ego. Yeah, go to you, Freud. Go with ego. Yes. Go ego. Go ego. Go id. Go yeah. super ego. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's all I have to say about Facebook. Other than that, there's no more taste notes required. If you haven't figured it out by just watching the le right side of your screen, left side of your screen, side is this to you guys, then uh, that's the left. That's great. It's the yeah. mirror image what, down there. Someone else can see. I'm just trying to tell them that you were going all crazy over this drink. Oh. He literally has protein stain in his pants. So there you go. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> That's unique. Potent. Unlike the last cocktail, the grapefruit does not... Save it? Yeah, it doesn't bring it down in... Uh, There's not a lot of cocktails with slow gin in it. Not a lot of cocktails with slow gin in it that are... It's like, a very distinct flavor. 